Yo guys, what is going on? So, a little bit late on uh, this train, but a couple days ago, uh, the Digimon Twitter, as well as their Facebook and stuff, uh, kind of announced or hinted at an update to the next banned and restricted card uh, list, basically uh, telling us that they're going to update the ban list in some way. Now, this was really cool, and I think um, a lot of people do want this because of the fact that of the, the the power ceiling and how quickly um, like power crept that the game has become. If you look at the BT11 format, very heavily dominated by the Black or Greymon deck and the BT9 archetypes, kind of um, all the X antibody cards that have been relevant since BT9, just give you a really really unfair advantage. So I think a lot of people are wanting um, hits just to kind of. Bring back our play style to what it was, I would say, oh, BT8 and before when you, um, there was a lot more skill, I think, involved in the game. It wasn't just decided by high rolling. You couldn't just look at each other's opening hands and kind of decide who was going to win. A lot of games, these, um, like, in this format, kind of rely on who drew, who drew better, who drew their combo first, who was able to get to their stack um, if you weren't able to draw the right cards. You kind of just lose, and there's not really much you can do about it. You can make some pretty ridiculous act going from a level 3 to a 6 or a 7 in one turn, deleting whole boards, making an unkillable stack, just pretty ridiculous stuff. Um, so I kind of want to talk about what cards I personally want to see on the list as well, as well as what I think is the most realistic. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into the Digimon card builder. I've car kind of included basically what I think all of the problem cards are. Now, the cross art cards, I I'll get to at the end. Those aren't really included in what I consider currently the problem. Um, so let's start it with the other uh, kind of cards first. So Greymon X Antibody, I think, is probably the most... Um, relevant card in the Black or Greymon deck. Uh, now, there are a lot of cards you could hit in that deck, but I don't think any of them by themselves create the problem. I think utilizing those cards with X any X anybody in Cool Boy uh, makes cards like Black or Greymon um, X really broken, makes the fact that you can swing into a level 5 and effectively blitz into a level 6 without passing turn is a really big tempo play gives you the protection from x anybody extra consistency and memory with cool boy um but the biggest problem in that archetype is going to be greymon x antibody and i also think this card should be hit um for future proof reasons as well this basically just gives you uh not only does it evolve from greymon for zero uh, but it basically just gives you a reduction cost for no additional like, no cost to you, no resources given. Um, it makes your really broken 4-cost ultimates 2-cost. Um, so, like, the cards like Metal Greymon, uh, the Black Red one, and Metal Greymon X were fine uh, because of the fact that Metal Greymon costed 4. No one was ever complaining about Metal Greymon costing 4 because you were almost always passing turn when you evolved into it or you needed some sort of setup to be able to do that plus a Black War play in the same turn. But even then, you weren't able to evolve Metal Grey and then evolve Black Ward, and then attack. In the current meta, you can evolve into a Greymon X, evolve into your Metal Grey for 2, and then attack X anybody and digivolve into your uh, Mega, not only being able to clear boards, de-digivolving stuff, attacking unsuspended, but also checking security, potentially trashing a security card with the um, Metal Greymon X inherited as well. So there's a lot of really unfair things you can do, and I also think for the purposes of BT13 and uh, later on, uh, the fact that we get the Shine Greymon archetype and that this deck is really, really powerful as well. Um, it makes all the, again, really broken four cost dual color Greymons broken two cost Evos. So, like, they're balanced in the sense that, like, okay, you either pay four for it or, like, you Digivolve three from a Geo Greymon. Um, the fact that they print, like, they printed, been printing a lot of four cost Evo ultimates, not just for the Greymon archetypes, but for basically, like, every kind of color. Um, purple, yellow has some, like, blue, green has some, etc. Uh, but they were balanced in the sense that you either had to pay for or meet some other more difficult requirement um, versus like this card just gives you two memory basically. So this card's really broken. 
Uh, that, that was a long ramble on Greymon X, I, I apologize, but uh, I just really think that is a really big problem card. Um, and now in the middle, Gururumon deck, I don't think both of these need to go, uh, just one of them. Um, if you guys saw the uh, Aldi Cup rules um, that Bandai kind of talked about, um, I think I can maybe find this on their Twitter, but, but for example, like uh, the Ultimate Cup, uh, you know, kind of altered rule set has where Gurumon X antibody at zero. So you just straight up cannot play this card. Um, and it makes it so that this Digimon becomes much less relevant. Um, where Gurumon promo is th from the first set of promos. This card is from BT1, and it has never been a problem up until set nine, where we got the X antibody Digimon. This card by itself is like fine, I suppose suppose because unsuspending a Digimon like for your effect is like okay that's been done before Aero Vigimon um whatever um you know but the fact that you evolve for zero unsuspend and then bounce something and then get the second attack plus one inherited is what's really crazy about the card so honestly I think I'm in favor of getting rid of where Groomon X anybody I think this card just straight up needs to be banned um, like this card is just ridiculous uh, this card however I think if you want to just future proof the game and make it so you're not limiting Garurumon card designs like every time you design a new uh, level 5 or 6 Garurumon you're gonna have to keep in mind okay well this promo where Garurumon exists um, like we need to make sure it's not too broken with that this card could also like just be gone like I wouldn't complain either way uh, but both of these cards just make that deck so ridiculous there's been so many times where my friend Zero uh, shout outs to uh, you James um, just turned to promoting me uh, pro promoting and putting me to like two security off of like a couple of swings uh, is just ridiculous. Like, that should not happen to anyone, and it's really frustrating when things are just out of your control and you're getting beat down by Melga. Uh, now, similar thing with Grandis Quagamon. Uh, I just think one of these cards needs to go. Uh, again, the uh, Bandai kind of ulti cup rules has the promo Grand Quagamon limited to one where they have Grandis still in the formats, um, which I also think is fine. Uh, again, this card was really prominent in BT4. Uh, and it has come back every so often, so honestly, just being able to check three off of a single swing, I, I've talked about this in the past, I just don't think it's really fair. Uh, so this card probably needs to go to one is okay, I think one's fine. One's one's good enough to where you won't see this all the time. Um, but Grandis itself, like, like I just don't think both of these can exist in the same format. Uh, we're, we're basically letting you check six. Uh, with piercing 16,000 and suspending two things is just ridiculous. And by the way, I've expressed my hate about Grandis Quagamon. I, this, you could also argue, limits the design of future Grand Quagamons because of the fact that this can evolve on them for one. And it just has three, like, really broken effects. And some of them are just like, wh why did you, like, why is this card base 16,000? I just want to know, as if suspending two things and um being able to unsuspend itself was not enough like why is it sixteen thousand? i just don't get it guys like it just makes no sense but regardless both those cards i don't think are good for the game um to exist together now x anybody and cool boy i have pretty strong opinions on these cards i generally don't like hitting consistency cards themselves i generally think those are good for the game cards like the memory boost cards like davis um you know just how, because of the fact that there isn't a mulligan in the game uh, you know, shout out to uh, Bandai if you're watching this. Please, please, please give us a mulligan. I am begging you. Like, the we One Piece has one, Dragon Ball has one. I just don't understand why we don't have one. Uh, but I digress. Uh, so, I, like I said, I generally think these kind of cards are good for the game. But the fact that this card costs two, it can fetch any X Anybody Digimon plus the option card. So, it's a plus two for two memory that then gives you back a one memory as well as an extra draw. Uh, when you meet the very, very easy to meet condition of Digivolving to an X Anybody with the same name. Uh, if this card costed like three, I think it would, even then, it would be really good. Like, if it costed four, it would probably be balanced. But the fact that it costs two is just like so insane, man. Like, who designed this card? I just don't get it. This card, I genuinely think, just needs to be banned. Like, at one, okay, one, one, one it would be fine. One, you couldn't stack it, you get your one cool boy search, like, you hit your opponent hits in security, whatever, it's plus one memory, it's not that bad. But the fact when you can go from, like, you choke your opponent to one, and, like, they have, like, triple cool boy on field, so then they can still climb into, like, a level six and out your board is just really ridiculous. Uh, so cool boy, I think, putting to one is fine. 
Uh, X anybody, I uh, I think this card needs to just straight up be banned. Like this card for a zero cost, randomly having Hammer Spark security effect, putting it under any Digimon to effectively giving them a Blitz effect, and you can't even trash it from the sources is just like ridiculous. Like there's no outplay for this card. You can't. You don't have to be careful when you're playing into any So Rise, Blue Flare, maybe Blue Hybrid, All Force, whatever. Like you just can't trash this card. Uh, it then offers bonus effects, um, all of the X anybody Digimon, like Wargory X, Metal Guru X, Grandis, Black War Greymon, all those cards, as well as the protection effects on, like, the Greymon X and stuff, just make this card really, really broken. Like, I genuinely think we need to just forget BT9 ever existed, because that set just power crept this game to an insane level, and I genuinely don't think, like, like, we see, again, in the Ulti Cup kind of, um, results... Um, which I, I actually don't know if I mentioned that. Um, uh, there was kind of like a mini Ulti Cup event going on um, that uh, True Champion Steven, MTG Girl, as well as Eggman kind of... Um, I think they hosted Eggman's covering it, so go check them out. I'm not going to like go over the video, but I'm basically just going to kind of show you guys like in this kind of monocolor format, if you get rid of all the current meta decks, what is kind of really good. Uh, Blue Mord, Yellow Hybrid, Grandis, D Reaper. Okay, those were kind of like the main decks. And overall, a pretty big balance of decks, but I think once people figure out the format more, you'll have a little bit more diversity. But like, even if you look at the type of decks, okay, you have a slow control deck, you have a control deck that can OTK in Grandis because they were still playing like the... Um, Grand Quagamon, you have a very memory efficient, kind of slow to start um, setup deck that has like um, recovery, that has an OTK package, and then you have Bloom Lord, which is a very, very fast, like kind of ramp um, board spammy deck. So you basically eliminated almost, like, I don't want to say you've eliminated OTKs, but you've made the game a lot less degenerate. Uh, and I think there's a lot of chances for um, a lot of other decks to flourish. I think in the European Ultimate Cup, uh, Gallantmon got like top three. So there's a lot of cool decks that don't really have the chance to shine because of the fact that this card exists. So anyways, long story short, those cards need to go. Um, and then the rest of these I kind of put here as some contingency. Uh, I don't know honestly what I would hit in Crossheart, but I think if you do hit all these other cards, you need to touch Crossheart because that is for sure the second best deck or it becomes the best deck if all of these other meta decks uh, go away. You just have some ridiculous play. So again, I'm not sure exactly what I would hit on that if I was given the choice. You guys let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, I would probably think it's one of these cards. I don't really think any of their high ends are a big problem. Uh, the deck's just really broken because it's like a champion rush deck that draws a billion cards. Uh, so maybe X3. Um, the, the lower level Shatmon seem to already be really broken. Uh, maybe a Taiki, maybe a Trio. Like I said, I'm not really sure. Um, but something there. Uh, and then lastly, I just have existing cards that I wish would just like go away completely. HBD, this card just like needs to be banned. I really just like zero cost options. <laughs> like just probably shouldn't really exist unless they do very minimal things like hammer spark i think is fine hbd letting you cheat five memory that's not fair x anybody letting you get protection blitz blah 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 not really fair uh so this card needs to go ice wall again this card like at one it like at one these cards are like fine in the current format but again it, like if you hit ice wall on security you're just frustrated like okay really i hit the one of my opponent just gets two free memory or they just randomly sack you with a game win because they drew their one of ice wall and they choke you to one and you can't swing because you pass turn otherwise uh but anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video let me know down in the comment section below what you think of my kind of prediction slash want list um and let me know what you guys want hit on the current uh, meta as well so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one